Tonight, one of Rhode Island's largest employers is embarking on a major move. Citizens Bank has made it official that it's leaving its longtime home in Cranston. But Cranston's loss will be another Rhode Island City's gain. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live with more on what the project means for the local economy. Citizens Bank isn't adding any new jobs, but they are building a massive new campus where 3,200 of its current employees will work. The CEO of Citizens Bank announced the major plan after months of speculation. A new corporate campus in Johnston to open in two years when corporate offices in Cranston will close. We had a lease running out in Cranston in 2018. Uh, and that facility, I would say, uh, was going to need a lot of work to suit our future needs. The 420,000 square foot campus will be built in this wooded lot off of Greenville Ave. RIDOT will build new highway exits off 295 to serve the campus. Citizens Bank will pay half the cost of the new ramps. Uh, as I've said many times, first class companies need first class infrastructure. So. Other than the new exits, the company won't receive any tax incentives from the state's Commerce Corporation. The town of Johnston is offering a tax stabilization plan. The mayor wouldn't reveal details until it's final. It's advantageous to citizens and it's advent very advantageous to the town of Johnston. The mayor touted the boost to the local economy the new corporate offices could bring, beginning with the groundbreaking later this year. It, it's jobs, it's construction jobs. We have a lot of uh, working class men and women in the town who are in the construction industry, it's going to help them and they're going to, it's going to put them to work. A spokesperson for the city of Cranston says they did try to keep those corporate offices in that city but couldn't meet the company's needs. Live in the control room, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.